Hey there, all you happy people. This is Someone Calling EX back with another episode of Samurai Western. Last time we handled stage two and three, so now we're going on to stage four, the dying. Wow, sounds really dramatic. And it's in a ghost town in the afternoon. Oh man, I hope, I really hope the pacing in this is better than before. Okay, so last time my sword wasn't all that great. Um, no, not that one. Where's the. Is this the one I had? Yeah, I think this is it. Okay, so. Let's. Alright, let's, let's get it on the road. Sorry for not recording for like the past few days. I had a lot of commission work. Uh-oh, cutscene. Some people call this a ghost town, but they're wrong. This is Hope Town. It's our town. And it's always been filled with our I don't laughter. hear anything. That's why the children and I will never leave. No matter what, we won't leave until the children's mothers and fathers come home safe. What if they're dead? At least... Well... That's what we always thought, but sometimes things are so hard. It was just when we were at our lowest that he came into town. There was a deep sadness in his strong, dark eyes. He said that he was a samurai. I wonder what could have made him take such a long journey from his homeland. Mm. Revenge. That's enough to motivate any samurai. Welcome to the ghost town. This used to be a fine little town, but Goldberg and his men kidnapped all the adults to work in his blasted mines. You mean Bill mines. Goldberg? So the only ones living here now are ghosts, outlaws. Uh oh, white woman in trouble. Come on over here. <laughs> You look lonely, senorita. I like how they have like a um, That's caption Barry. for every different language they speak. Children who were left behind. They're the last ones living here. But rapists. Hmm? You're gonna help her. You know you won't get anything out of it. Yet Cause I'm the anyway. greatest but well, rapist. Luck. Who do you think you are? Nobody gets in our way. Think a sissy boy like you can beat us? I've been doing spot on so far. Let's rock and roll, man. Oh, sure. Stand still so you can shoot me. Whoop! Uh, 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 uh. Walk up and down your ass. Uh, uh, uh. Twirling. Uh, uh, uh. Twirling. Uh, uh, uh. Oh crap. <laughs> I, I honestly thought I got stuck. Wow, you are a big boy. Big dead boy at that. <laughs> I just like cleave him in two. So Yeah, I'll always I'll almost be finished with Samurai Legend I'm um, Samurai Western because it isn't that much it isn't that long of a game and if you know what you're doing you can finish it in almost one sitting sad to say but yeah you can do that but um did that dude just throw a boomerang at me what the cr yeah he's throwing a boomerang saying crocodile dundee homie 
Uh, oh, I was about to say, where am I? That dude throwing a boomerang like this Australia. Like I'm Kangaroo Jack or somebody. You know what? I hate it when people like just sit right above me and I can't get to them and they just throw stuff at me. again the pacing slows down so as I was saying I'll, I'll, I'm on I'll almost be done with Sam I think I'll be done with Samurai Legend like I don't know five more sessions Standing in front of a guy cleaving the hell out of everybody. Slash. <laughs> I don't think any of my other swords are powerful. Just that his Iaido, his Iaido slash is like kind of inopportune because it'll take so long to activate. Looks like I got a power up. I, forget. I think this power up like augments your strength. Next, uh, um, next, next game I want to do, um, I think either Saint Seiya Sanctuary Battle or Osiris Wrath. You leave her alone. Go away. Go away. Thank you so much for saving me. But why did you do it? No one else will stand up to go. I like white women. It was my duty. <laughs> Anything less is I wish other people thought that. What? Samurai boy here believes that there's such a thing as justice in this world. I guess you could say he's an idealist. Or he's just doing the right thing. Enough, enough of this banter. My employer, the Honorable Franklin Goldberg, has sent me to give you this Franklin Goldberg? A black man who's French. Will there be many more outlaws like you there? Be a mini man. I really must object to being called an outlaw. Well, there are plenty of black people in France. Very well. I'll cut them all down. Uh, that's it for um, not episode um, stage four. See, the stages, if you know what you're doing, you can clear them out in like under five minutes. I'll change my sword because <laughs> it's not that exciting just cleaving through people so fast. Alright, let's go to stage five. The Invitation. Two sword style. What's that? It's the freestyle sword. This one has a double jump. Sheath. Low stance. So with this, I won't be knocked down. Alright, let's try this. Ooh, my butt. Uh. My dear Mr. Samurai, I am an open-minded man. 
You are a visitor to our country. And we're no doubt confused as to the way we do things. You need to learn the pecking so order. I overlook the great rudeness that you have shown me and my associates. I am a man of equality and fair judgment. So no matter what inferior race you belong to, if you are strong, I will find a use for you as I build my perfect orderly utopia here on the Western Plains. That's right. I have decided to give you the chance to enter my utopia. Who are you, Gil? If you want to take advantage of my generous offer, come to my residence. Franklin Goldberg. If you didn't know, um, Goldberg is voiced by Paul Eating, who does the voice of Colonel Campbell on Metal Gear. Metal Gear Solid. Well, the Metal Gear Solid series. Rando. Never heard of him. That dude look like Cagliostro from Spawn in a Demon's Hand. If he's not With that here, big ass nose no and that Santa Claus mustache. Wait, just looking like Dr. Eggman. When Mr. Goldberg tells you to. It's alright, John. I think we have Mr. Samurai's answer. That was a waste of time. Take care of it. Yes. You knew he was gonna say no, so... Why go through all this rigmarole? Here we go. Oh my god. Y'all just all lined up down here. <laughs> Now this is the start of the levels where they just throw buttloads of people at you at once. Okay, I need to find something to talk about. Um, so yeah, today is Sunday. Um, what is it, the 17th? Yeah. Sunday, November 17th. And the Xbox One dr drops this. Ow! You fat, fat sack of nothing. <laughs> That's just what it is, a fat sack of nothing. You just whistle at me, boy. Really? I thought I just killed you. So yeah, the Xbox One drops this Friday, and already the PS4 is having problems. The blue light of death. It ain't working. They talking about um, people sabotaging the PlayStation 4. That's making me like real skeptic to get an Xbox One. Cause I don't want to drop no five hundred dollars and then come to find out it don't work. How does that Oh, there you go. There his happy ass go. Ow! Ow! You know what? I wasn't even nowhere near that guy, but you got cut in half. Oh, you blocking douche. 
Yeah, that's another problem with bosses in this game. They block. They just block. They just block. And right when you try to um, get an opening, they hit you really hard. Ow! Do, wait, did he just say, do I feel his love for him? For me? Bruh, ain't nobody trying to feel no love for you, man. I don't want to. It's safe to say Gene is gay. I seem to be coming down with the yeah, the cold embrace of death. <laughs> I guess I let you off this time. Yeah, I'm going back to my other saga. That was just ridiculous. <sighs> Akitsu. First, I'm going to see what the Akitsu is, then, I'm going to cut it for this episode. Got to render it and upload it. Hopefully, YouTube won't be a dildo. Um, so, now we got a whirlwind. Let me see. Ah. Okay, we'll use this next time, so. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this episode, so. Next time, we'll, we'll, we will handle um, stage 6. Or stage 5. Oh, stage 6, I think it's stage 6. Alright, so once again, this is Satoshi the Mage, signing out. See you later.